An Eagle River boy is raising money to support his local sheriff's canine unit by hosting a lemonade stand at his home. Newswatch 12's Jake Force visited the stand and has more. Jake. That's right, Dan. Over the summer, Jackson Favorite used a couple of his weekends to sell lemonade from his house and donate the proceeds to the local canine unit for the Vilas County Sheriff's. It was held over several weekends this summer, including Labor Day weekend. I spoke to Jackson and his mother, Michelle, about what inspired the lemonade stand and how Jackson turned it into a huge success. He could be doing this for himself. He could be playing, and he's choosing to put his time and efforts into this, and it's admirable. Michelle Favorite couldn't say enough about how proud she is of her son Jackson, who hosted a lemonade stand through a couple of weekends over this summer to raise money for the Vilas County Sheriff's Canine Unit, Deputy Zach Stern, and Police Canine Hilo. The unit is funded solely by donations, and while Michelle helped out where needed, it's Jackson, who dreams of one day being a police officer, acting as the driving force behind Lemonades for Hilo. I wanted to do a lemonade stand for a really long time and um, one day I felt like doing it and me and my mom talked about it in the car when we went to get lemons and I thought of what about like supporting the police dog because I want to be a, a, a off police officer when I grow up. And it doesn't stop with just a lemonade stand. There's also merchandise available as well as a GoFundMe page that you can still donate to. And the hard work paid off back in May when a very special visitor decided to stop by Jackson's lemonade stand. The officer, Officer Stern, he came with Hilo, which was a canine. And he got to show us how they do like the training stuff with like the arm. Michelle Favorite added that what her son is doing is bigger than just raising money for a good cause. It's an inspiration, I think, for everybody. And a little reminder, just kind of the way things are going, just to increase positivity around law enforcement. And you get a kid out here raising over $1,000 in, you know, the six days that he did this. It's just... It, makes you feel good. And while he hasn't decided on whether or not to continue hosting the stand, Jackson sincerely thanked the community for their support. Thank you for everyone to coming here and buying lemonade and Ben mowing and buying shirts and stuff. Thanks for supporting and the GoFundMe. And as you just heard, Jackson is trying to set up another weekend to host the stand, but isn't exactly sure about when. So be sure to watch the Lemonades for Hilo Facebook page for further updates, and that's Lemonades, the number four, H-E-L-O. Jackson also issued a special thanks to his staff at the stand, his two brothers, and his friend Hudson, all of whom you saw in the story, for all of their help, Dan.